Hi guys, I have the E2 4K action camera from Gearbest. I did an unboxing video a couple of weeks ago and I've been using it for a couple of weeks. And here is my review and um, some footage. You can get it on Gearbest now for around £190, uh, so a little bit cheaper than normal. This, uh, I'd call it a mid-range sort of action camera. And definitely um, one to compete with the, uh, the GoPro. And 200 pound, 200 odd pound cheaper. Um, this is definitely a fantastic buy. But this camera does take some really, really good um, video and uh, some nice pictures as well. Uh, this is also true uh, 4K as well. And I'll upload a video separately with some true 4K uh, clips as well. I'll upload that in, in 4K resolution because uh, it really does do, uh, do a great job. And definitely a competitor to a, a GoPro, especially for the price. Definitely you'd save a couple hundred pounds buying one of these than buying a GoPro. It's nice and small, it's light. Uh, battery life is excellent. You can get nearly on two hours recording at 4K. And charging takes about an hour or so. Um, so battery life is brilliant on this as well. Just a reminder of what you get in here. Get a... Uh, cable charging cable battery sits in there that's it very minimal just remind you again at the bottom here that's where your battery goes and your SD card pops in there I got a SanDisk SDXC memory card uh, that will obviously um, help when you are Obviously recording at 1080p in 120 frames per second and obviously helps recording at 4K as well. You won't get no dropped frames or anything like that. Uh, so that's one thing to make sure. Because uh, I've recorded in um, 720p, uh, 240 frames per second as well. And 4K you can record up to 30fps and 24fps as well. So it goes from 4K all the way down to 480. So it covers a lot of resolutions and it does all of them uh, really really well um, let's turn her on so the menu is really really easy uh, to use the settings cog at the, the bottom right there uh, where it says video if you tap that you can choose uh, it's got like presets so you can choose photo so that'll take you into photo mode you can also go into slow motion mode, which will automatically select 720p at 120 frames per second. So what other modes can we do? Loop mode. Just puts it into loop mode. Simple as that. Time lapse photo as well. Photo in progress is doing time lapse now there, you see. Stop that really really simple let's go back to video now on the bottom left here press that you can scroll through all the um, stuff you've taken there are the pictures there we go there's um, oh, some of my video that I've recorded over the past couple of days you can play that straight from there Excellent, I really love it. And then to go back, you just press that, press that little arrow there, and then you're back to video mode. Now let's get into the settings, this settings cog here. So video mode resolution. Let's go all the way to the top, look, 4K, 30 frames per second. 4K Ultra, 24 frames per second. 2.7K, uh, you got 2K there as well. Now 1080p lock, you can choose the um, FPS, so you can have up to 120 FPS. I've got a few recordings of that to show you. Field of view wide, metering mode, auto low light on, video quality high, white balance, color, ISO, sharpness, EV, a plethora of settings. Uh, image stabilization doesn't work uh, with 1080p 120 frames per second uh, but it will work at um, 30 frames per second if you scroll back down to there it's off at the moment but you can turn it on I 
don't think it works at 60 fps let's just double check oh it does yeah 60 fps uh it will but not over 60 fps um let's go into these settings here camera reset this is actual the the camera um, settings device info advanced video standard you can change to pal or ntsc in housing mode i suppose that's for the um waterproof housing leds all on video mute beeps brightness bluetooth pairing sd card wi-fi yep yeah, you can have wi-fi on and you can also connect it to the app um on the phone uh, which works really well let's change to picture mode photo very quickly go into settings and resolution you can have 5 megapixel to 12 megapixel and same again look shutter metering mode white balance color iso sharpness ev timestamp and these settings are oh they're, um, you can adjust lens distortion as well in there yeah but it's all the same all the same settings in there um i was going to show you let's go back to video uh, check out some more resolutions because if you look down here at 720p 240 frames per second that is nuts so i've slowed down a bit of footage um on the 240 frames per second to show you how well it works obviously the 720p um, can be a little bit distorted on bigger resolution screens and stuff but if you're watching it on a small phone it's fine wide screen as well wide field of view all the same look all the same really really easy to get uh, your head around this and also quick swipe like that you can change to video and photo like that if you want a quick swipe that's it really for the 4k camera uh, beautiful little camera highly highly recommend it save you money don't buy a gopro buy one of these um, you will not be disappointed and i'll show you some uh, lovely clips now um, of most of the resolutions and some slow-mo um, i'll include the 4k footage in there as well but i'll also include a separate video uh, with true 4k upload to youtube so guys i'll leave a link in the description below if you want to take a look at it or wish to purchase one and if you have any questions please comment below please give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one enjoy the clips so this is 1080p at 120 frames per second Now this is 720p at 240 frames per second. This one is on a really small resolution, 480. And you can have 240 frames per second on this as well. Can't imagine it's gonna be great, but just thought I'd show you anyway. Mm -hmm. 